Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme dialogue tutorial. This is our part number 33. Inside this video session, guys, we will discuss about modifying checkout page. In the last video, we had discussed all about our cart page. Now, if I back to browser and click on, let's say, on any of the product, is something like this. Go inside Add to Cart view cart and as we can see that here we will have our cart page inside previous video we had created all about this page.php and maintained that now if we click on this proceed to checkout button as we can see that we will have our checkout inside this url if we go inside this admin click on pages we will have our checkout page click on the on this edit link and we will have a sort code inside checkout page as we can see here this is the WooCommerce checkout which is loading all about this dynamic content here it is taking all about billing details as well as additional information but please look at this input boxes these are totally distorted all about these designs so how can we work and may I make this layout as better as we can do and also as we can do, see that inside this checkout page we are using the page.php file now if we inspect that go inside here and this is all about the form and here as we can see that this is the article class call what we have defined inside previous video back to editor this is all about our article tag and inside that by the help of these functions actually we are rendering all the dynamic content for this checkout page so we need to make this layout as attractive so what we have to do if we go inside that inside this form means this is all about the form of let's say call 1 for billing details call 2 for additional informations and these classes define inside this call to hyphen set and these are the classes of WooCommerce so we have multiple options to actually set this page the first way either we can use let's say that our bootstrap classes instead of these classes or we can set by the help of CSS these classes so first of all we need to find that where we can find this all about our checkout page back to editor press ctrl B go inside our WooCommerce folder and inside this WooCommerce folder we will have our checkout folder inside this checkout folder we will have let's say form hyphen checkout.php now click on that file go inside this and as we can see that we have a form with the checkout name post method as well as we can see here that is checkout WooCommerce hyphen checkout class so if I press ctrl B and if we go and look at this file then inside this form we will have call to set and inside this we will have call 1 and call 2 this is all about WooCommerce checkout billing and here checkout shipping and in the next we will have all about this customer details so this is all about our form tag so if we want to customize or add any attribute simply we can add here but let's say that we are going to use this WooCommerce classes and let's say we are going to set the layout so what I will do go and let's say inspect on these form elements and as we are using call to set call one and inside this we will have these input boxes so go here and let's say that if we add here let's say that call to hyphen set this is the parent class call to set and inside this we will have let's say call one so first of all 
we need to work over this call 1 and call 2. We need to give a max width because right now as we can see that this is not a specific width of this class. So what I will do, go and let's say that remove this inspector from here and what I will do, go inside call to set, click on this call 1 and here as we can see here that is this is coming from WooCommerce layout.css. So what I will do, let's say that flex 0, 0, 50% and I am to define max width equal to 50%. Get rid of this width from here. Now inside this form, as we can see here that is we have now filled up to its max width. So what I will do, if I copy this CSS or either we can click on this file and copy the changes what we did back to editor, go to style.css and this time we have worked on the checkout page. So let's say checkout and I am pasting all the details here. Get rid of these two fills because we have added only these changes. Go and reload this page and as we can see here that is and I think our CSS is not worked and why it has not worked back to editor and I think that we have missed the dot here because this is for the class. Go and reload this page. Control F5 and as we can see here that is we have now max width for these boxes. But also we are not happy with this input boxes. What we want that we want that these boxes should be display block into a new line which will be much better from this layout. So what I will do if we go and click on this company name which is an optional parameter go and click on this input type text inside this CSS if we go and find all about this form CSS here again go and click on this street address click here click on this paragraph and each of the field is now appearing inside this paragraph which contains some classes so click on any of the paragraph and inside this paragraph as we can see that we have a class called form row which is coming from WooCommerce and here this CSS is not coming from WooCommerce because this is coming out from simple bootstrap thing and from vendor folder and all what we have to do for this form row we are going to remove this display flags and while removing that as we can see here that is all fields now looking much better. So what I will do, copy this form row, go inside our CSS settings and remove this display flags. So what I will do, go and as we know that these form row classes actually is coming inside this WooCommerce. Let's say that this is WooCommerce. So if I copy this class, go here and let's say that WooCommerce we will have this form row and instead of display flags I am to use display block. Now if we save these changes go and reload this page and inside this checkout now as we can see that we have now all the input boxes is now displaying inside display block and it is and which is quite better a layout more than previous. Now here inside this additional information we have to work over this text area as well. So what I will do inside this text area again I am going to define let's say flex all about 0050% and here let's say max width equal to 50% or let's say if we pass 100% it has not worked so what I will do this is call to and we need to add our CSS here actually we are doing at the wrong place so flex 0 0 
50 percent and the max width is something let's say 50 percent uh, which is looking good so what I will do go here copy all the CSS back to a style.css file pasting it here remove this width and float save all these changes go and reload this page and as we can see here that is billing details as well as about this additional information is now looking better this is all about our checkout page if we want to add any CSS over any fills simply we can do as per the rule what we have done so far pasting inside that and it will work for this checkout page so successfully guys we have worked over this checkout so in the next video we will work over our my account page so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day